Hello viewers, today I have come with a very interesting topic, integers. Now what are integers? Looking into this table you can see there are certain positive, certain negative numbers. So all those whole numbers which are positive, negative or zero, they are termed as integers. So there are certain rules which we are going to learn in this which are as follows. Please understand it carefully. First and foremost thing, I am going to start with the multiplication rule. Now, two things you need to understand. What you should do and which sign to put. Now, in the case of multiplication, it is very much clear two numbers will be there which needs to be multiplied. But, there can be two positive numbers, there can be one positive, one negative, there can be both negative. So what we should do or which sign we should put in their case, you need to understand it. Now there are four categories which I have taken as, there are two numbers, both the numbers are with positive sign. Which sign to put? You will put positive sign only. What you should do in all the cases where there is a multiplication sign, you will multiply that two numbers. For example, I say plus 2 multiply by plus 3. So what is 3 into 2? 6. Which sign I will put? Plus. So answer is plus 6 or 6. Similarly, when there are two negatives, now again minus 3 minus 2 i need to multiply first i i will multiply 3 multiply by 2 that is 6 minus minus there are two minus i need to put the sign of plus here we need to be very careful okay this is the case where we are going to put plus sign and when there is plus one is plus and one is minus we will multiply but in that case, there will be negative sign. Okay. So, we need to understand these with the help of examples. Like I have taken the same numbers 7 and 6 but with different sign. In the first case, plus 7 and plus 6 is there. We need to multiply. What is 7 6? 7 6 is 42. So, when the sign is both plus, I, there is no danger. Simply write 42 or plus 42. Both are correct. Next case. Wherever there is negative, please be alert. There is danger involved in it. You need to be extra, extra careful whenever there is a negative sign. Now, when there are more, both the numbers are negative. Like minus 7, minus 6. I know 7 6 is 42. I have put 42. But here the problem is I need to put positive sign with 42 plus 42 or simply 42. Okay. Next, 1 is positive, 1 is negative. You will put the sign of negative only. See children, here I have put the sign of multiplication in between the brackets okay if i will not put the multiplication sign simply i put both the brackets together then also it will mean that i am doing multiplication okay two brackets are there together or there is one sign outside one sign inside of bracket then also it means multiplication and i need to be extra careful so when we go further you will understand it better so, whenever there is any sort of operation, you need to first see what you have to do. Multiplication, it is very simple. Just multiply. You should know the tables. And then, which sign to put, that is the utmost important thing. When they are both positive, both negative, put the sign of positive. When one positive is there and one negative is there, you will put the sign of negative. Okay. That is why I have taken the same number to make it little in a simpler form. Now, let us understand the addition rules. Now, if you have understood the multiplication rules, it is easier to understand the addition rule. That is why I have put multiplication first. Now, let us see again. Here also, we will understand the two things. What you should do and which sign to put. Now, again, I have taken the same cases. Okay. 
plus 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 means both the values of the whole numbers are plus in between also there is a plus sign in that case you will add and simply put the sign of add second case both the numbers are negative say i say um, 7 and 6 minus 7 minus 6 but in between plus is there i have just if you remember the multiplication rule when there is plus and minus and we multiply it will be minus so in that case i will when i solve the question i will add and put the sign of minus okay let us understand with the help of an example now here i have taken the variable 7 and 6 now 7 is positive 6 is also positive no danger at all blindly add it 7 and 6 is 13 and i will put the sign of positive second case be alert danger is there why there are two negatives that can create problems Whenever two negatives are there, my rule is you will add two negatives, but the sign will be of negative. Okay. So, 7 plus 6 is 13, but sign is negative. Okay. Now, third case. Now, simply one thing I will, here I would like to add. Those who have understood the multiplication rule. Now, see here in the second case, what it is? Minus 7 plus then bracket is there minus 6 plus and minus is minus means plus multiply by minus the result is minus that is why i have written as minus 6 so you need to understand the rules very carefully okay here when the whole operation you have done addition 7 and 6 is addition but the sign i have put off minus third case 7 is positive but 6 is negative. Again, what is plus minus? Minus in this case. Means, why I am saying plus minus means plus multiply by minus integer. Then it will be minus 6. Okay. So, 7 minus 6 is 1. And the rule is you need to put the sign of a bigger number. What is bigger number here? 7. What is the sign of 7? Positive. So, answer is positive 1. Okay, so last case. Now here I have taken 7 as negative but 6 as positive. Plus, plus 6, 2 plus 6, no problem. Simply 1 plus will come. Ultimately, minus 7 plus 6, I will subtract. 1 is minus, 1 is plus. I will subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. But the sign will come of a bigger number which is minus. Okay, these are the rules of the addition. Now, let us see what happens in the case of subtraction. Again, two things. What you should do, which sign to put. Same things I have taken over here. When you need to subtract, where? When both are positive, both are negative, just subtract. When one is positive, one is negative, you need to add. Let us see how. Same examples I have taken with 7 and 6 like in the case of addition the difference is in the center I have put a minus sign because we are subtracting. Now I have told you when there is a center subtract and inside bracket there is another sign we multiply. So minus multiply plus is result is minus. Minus multiply by minus is plus if you remember the multiplication rule. That is why I have taught multiplication on the first side because you should understand there are two signs. Two signs in between we are doing multiplication. Okay. So minus multiply by minus plus minus multiply by plus is minus. Now let us take the first example. Plus 7 minus then bracket plus 6. So first of all there are two signs minus and plus. I will change it into 1. What is minus multiplied by plus? That is minus. So, 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. I will take the sign of a bigger number which is 7 positive. So, my 1 will be positive or simply I can write as 1. Next example. Minus 7 minus minus 6. 
first there are two sign minus minus i will change it into one what is minus multiply by minus plus so it will come plus six seven minus six is one why i have put negative with one because seven is a bigger number and i need to put the sign of a bigger number so minus seven my result will be minus one next plus seven minus of minus six what is minus multiply by minus plus so plus seven plus six i will simply add no danger here simply write 13 last case minus seven minus of plus six now one is minus one is plus minus multiply by plus is minus so my result is minus seven minus six so seven minus seven minus six what i need to do i will add seven plus six is 13 but I will put the sign of minus. Here you need to be careful. You need to do lots and lots of practice to understand these rules in a better way. Now, next. Division rules in this, simply we need to divide. I will just explain with the help of an example. Now see, plus 12 divided by plus 6. So, 6 table 12 comes. So, simply I have taken an easy step so that you understand easily. So, 6, 12 divided by 6 is 2. Both are plus plus. So, answer is 2. No danger in it. Okay. Next, minus 12 divided by minus 6. Now, 12 divided by 6, I know it is 2. Now, problem here is I need to understand which sign to put. When both are negative, I will put plus sign because minus minus will get cancelled okay we are dividing it one is plus one is minus in both the case i will put negative sign like 12 is plus and 6 is minus 12 divided by minus 6 result is minus 2 minus 12 divided by plus 6 is again minus 2 nothing is there in the fraction okay in the fraction it is coming one we don't have to write 1, I can simply write 2. So, these are the certain rules which we have just discussed about multiplication, addition, subtraction and divisions. Let us do couple of example to understand it better. Now, in the first case, I am taking the questions related to addition and subtractions. Now, see, first case I have taken certain numbers, minus 65 plus in bracket plus 84. The first and the foremost thing what you need to do is wherever you see two signs. Now see in the center you can see two signs. Okay. That means you are multiplying. What is plus multiply by plus? That is plus. First rule you need to be careful. So minus 65 plus 84 is equal to what am I doing? 84 minus 65. Okay. It is not necessary. 84 is a bigger number. So, it, I should write first. I can write in a second also. I can write at the end also. You just have to understand the concept. So, here ultimately I need to subtract 65 from 84. Now, when I subtract, my answer comes to 19. But which sign to put? The number which is a bigger number. Which is a bigger number here? 84. 84 is positive. So, my answer is positive. Now see, I have what we have done, we have used the property of addition of minus plus plus where we subtract. We have subtracted 84 minus 65 and put the sign of a bigger number. 84 was a bigger number, so I have put the sign of positive. Let us understand the second example. Plus 8 minus minus 5. Now minus minus is plus simply 8 plus 5 which is equal to 13. Here I have used the property of subtraction plus minus minus which we will do addition in this and put the sign of plus. If there is no sign with the integer it means plus only. So if you have not written the plus sign it is very much clear your answer will be correct. Next example plus 59 plus minus 10. Now what is plus multiply by minus first of all minus 1 plus 1 minus result is minus okay so 59 minus 10 which is equal to 49 
but I have not put any sign over here. That means 49 is positive plus sign. But I have not written no problems. It is not necessary to write the plus sign with one single number. Okay. So what rule I have applied? Do subtract but put the sign of a bigger number. Now here 59 is a bigger number. 59 is positive. So I have put positive only. I have not put negative sign with the 49. Let's take another example. Minus 80 minus of minus 10. Now minus minus is plus. Minus multiply by minus. Two minus are there. I will add. Okay. Put the sign of addition. So minus 80 plus 10 is equal to. I will do subtraction. But I will put the sign of a bigger number. 80 minus 10 is 70. I will put the sign of a bigger number. Here bigger number is. 80 with that I have a sign of minus so I will put minus 70. So rule of subtraction do subtract and put sign of a bigger number. So let us do some examples of multiplication and division also. First case minus 2 multiply by plus 1. First of all I need to multiply 2 multiply by 1. First is 2 ones are 2 but 1 is negative 1 is positive the sign will be negative so minus multiply by plus will be minus so my answer is minus 2 let us see multiplication property 1 is minus multiply by positive is equal to you will multiply and put the sign of negative let us take another example 8 multiply by minus 5 now 8 fives are 40 but 1 is plus 1 is minus so my answer will be minus 40. So multiplication property you will multiply and put the sign of minus. Let us take another example of division. 10 divided by minus 2. Now 10 is easily divisible by 2 I know that that is 5. So the answer will be minus 5 because 1 is positive and 1 is negative. My answer will be in negative. So division property is plus divided by minus divided but put the sign of minus. Next minus 8 divided by minus 2. 8 is easily divisible by 2 that is 4 and minus minus also get cancelled. So I can write plus 4 or 4. So the rule applies over here is divide and put the sign of plus or no sign. So these were the certain examples which I have tried to do to make it more clear certain rules of the integers. So my request is you, sh you should do plenty of questions based on this to make your hands strong and you don't have to think. Once you start doing couple of questions slowly slowly automatically the rules will go into your head and you don't have to look backwards what I should do now immediately you will be able to do so children i hope you must have liked my video for more videos do like share and subscribe